Okay, this is on the neurobiological um, brain structures. So this is the science behind it. I had to redo this video. Um, within an extroverts, um, which is about 80% of the population, I believe, um, this is how their brain structures are set up. This is the science behind the reason why they are the way that they are. Um, extroverts. External activities excite them. Um, they are charged up by people, places, and stimuli that is outside of themselves. They need that interaction. Um, they have a lower cortex arousal, so that means they process less information per second. That's why they have a higher tolerance or a threshold for um, chaos and things going on around them. It only minimally arouses the brain. Um, so they can engage in a lot of things around them. Um, their brain's reward system is more sensitive in social interactions. That's why they gravitate towards certain um, situations and events because it really heightens you know, their, their happiness level and their interactions. Um, they have more blood flow in their temporal lobes and posterior thalamus. That means um, their brains are built um, to interpreting sensory data. So um, they are, you know, set up to be more focused with what's going on around them. They're, they're outside things than what's going on within them. Um, they receive their dopamine through external stimulus. That's why it's critical that they interact with other people because dopamine is your happiness. Um, it's that chemical within your brain. Um, they pay more attention to human faces um, than objects or things um, because they need the interaction and it's easier to interact with other people. You know, that word usage that, you know, hey, let's go do that as opposed to, you know, <coughs> things you can't really speak to. A second language comes easier. Um, more risk-taking behavior risky sexual behavior, and immediate gratification, and more decorative clothes. Now, I wouldn't say it's necessarily risk-taking, but introverts would view it that way. Because, see, if you're an extrovert, you have to actually be in that situation before you engage it. Um, they can't think about it, you know, per se, and make a judgment because it's like a case-by-case -case thing. You know, they have to physically be in it to understand it, interpret it, and then decide from there. So on to us introverts. Um, internal activities excite introverts. They get their energy from within. So that's because we're more focused on what our brain is telling us as opposed to what's going on around us. Um, a high cortex arousal. That means that we process more information per second. That's why loud restaurants you know, um, busy places, chaos, drama going on around us can really um, overwhelm our brains because it's already moving at such a quick rate. We don't have a very high tolerance. Um, the brain's reward system is less sensitive in social interactions. That's why we avoid certain situations and events because it actually has the opposite effect on us. Um, it's not a pleasant thing for us to go through. Um, introverts have more blood flow in the frontal lobes and the anterior thalamus. <coughs> that means um, because we are within our minds, we are constantly thinking of the consequences, planning, problem solving, that inward attention before we can engage in it. We have to see it through and then we can act on it. Uh, more neuron activity and learning and vigilance control. <coughs> Premortal cortexes. They uh, process external stimulus more quickly. That's why I was saying like chaos and all of this drama and uh, everything, loud restaurants and everything um, really overwhelm us because everything is going so much quicker within our, our brains. Um, we receive dopamine through our internal stimulus. So we get happiest with what we're mentally doing, not necessarily how we're physically interacting. And uh, we pay more attention to objects and things than to people. 
Um, I have no idea what my neighbors are doing, but I can watch <laughs> my birds and enjoy those simple pleasures, you know, in nature uh, for hours on end. Uh, so that does make sense. Um, again, this is the brain structures, the neurobiological processing information, stuff that I've read and I found very interesting because it's actual science. Until later, goodbye.